Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. And today we are going to be talking about how you can be more sustainable as a college student. This is a day in my life and I show a few of the things that I do to try to be more sustainable here in Clarkson. First off, I always use a reusable water bottle because single-use plastic water bottles are wasteful, they're not good for you or the planet, and they're just a lot of money for no reason. For other dishes, I either buy them secondhand, like this mug I got from a yard sale, or all the silverware that I have was a gift from a family friend, it's just an old set that she had and wasn't using anymore. And all of my other dishes are dishes that I already had at home, so I didn't need to buy anything new. So use secondhand and what you have instead of buying new things. And when it comes to food, I'm a vegetarian. It's always good to be mindful of where your food comes from and the impact it has on the environment. I know this can be hard to do in college, but eating a more plant-based diet and trying to find organic when you can is great. This brand is supporting organic farms, which is super cool. And I'm loving oat milk right now. Plant milks have a lower impact on the planet than dairy, so I would definitely consider drinking a plant milk instead of regular milk. And eat up. Make sure you are sustaining yourself. If you aren't healthy, how will you have the energy to protect our planet? And take a moment to take in the sunshine and the plants you have in your dorm. Get some plants. And try to reuse, repurpose, and refuse as much as you can and recycle as your last resort. I have to give a TED talk in my public speaking class today, but I just practiced it and it's like almost exactly 20 minutes long, which is how long it has to be. So I'm hoping that I don't like accidentally like blob on too long and go over. But I think, you know, I've been practicing it a lot and I feel pretty prepared, but I'm just scared that I'm gonna like completely blank because I'm not bringing like any notes up. But hopefully like my PowerPoint will, you know, inspire me to uh, remember if I forget anything. But honestly, I'm just talking about reading and how reading changed my life and how important it is. So I think I'll be able to ad lib if I just blank, but like it's in there. So I think if I just let my brain go, it'll be fine. But I have to make sure that I am speaking clearly and coherently, especially with a mask on. Wish me luck and I will uh, update you afterwards, let you know how it goes. <laughs> it is so beautiful outside it's in the 40s getting up to 50 degrees today so i have our windows open just to let some fresh air in i think my speech went pretty well you know i probably did speak too fast and maybe wasn't loud enough for some parts of it but i think overall it was good but i'll wait and see what my professor says when i get feedback but i think it was good so now i'm just going to eat lunch it's around 11 o'clock it's like 11 10 i had another class for honors after i had that presentation and we just went over the project that we're working on with the food pantry but now i'm back i'm gonna eat lunch and just get ahead on some of my other work until it's time for lab so or mm, not lab class i have environmental health science and then environmental history and then biostatistics today so when it comes to food scraps and food waste on campus, you should definitely compost because food does not break down properly in a landfill and it releases more methane instead of CO2, which is a more potent greenhouse gas. So definitely try to compost if you can. A lot of schools like Clarkson have programs where you can get a compost bin for your dorm or apartment and then you can bring that and dump it into a larger compost bin somewhere else. I also collect all of the plastic baggies that I have and I'm going to try to recycle them at a grocery store. Next up, definitely mask up, make sure you wear a mask and try to wear a reusable one because it's better for the planet.
if your campus is walkable, even if you have a car, you should walk everywhere that you can. Because everything's normally so close together at college, so walk and take public transportation. Good stuff. sustainability tip. I'm currently working on my environmental health science lab. So even if you're not an environmental science major like me, you can still take environmental science classes as electives or environmental policy or sustainability classes. So try to fit at least one in while you're in college so that you can really understand what you're talking about and what it really means to be sustainable. Work hard in school and in all of your studying. We need professionals in all fields who are knowledgeable in sustainability ideas and who are passionate about the environment, who can use their intelligence and creativity to change the world. So my 810 at night class got canceled for today because my professor isn't feeling well. Hopefully she feels better. I feel really bad when other people are sick, so hopefully she's feeling better soon. But that means I don't have to work out at like 9 o'clock at night because I don't really work out after that class. So I don't have to like shower beforehand, so that's nice. That means I can do like a more intense workout today instead of just doing something kind of shorter at 9 o'clock at night. So that's exciting. Just thought I would update you. <laughs> way I quote unquote sustain myself and work to keep myself healthy is by working out. And I bought this yoga mat last semester from a workout instructor at Paul Smith's College secondhand for two dollars. If you want to see videos on why I was at Paul Smith's and not Clarkson last semester, check out the other videos on my channel. And remember, you don't need to spend a lot of money on new workout equipment to get a good workout in. So yeah, this yoga mat was secondhand. I cleaned it and it's great. When it comes to hygiene, try to use plastic free beauty and body products. I'm working to use up any products I have that still come with plastic and I'm transitioning to zero waste alternatives. Like I definitely want to get native, non-plastic deodorant. And again, here's some really vegetarian food and this is leftover. So make sure you're saving your leftovers and working hard to minimize any food waste you'll reduce by eating it or reusing it in a way like putting in smoothies and things like that. And now at the end of the day, I pick out my clothes for the next day. And a lot of my clothes, all these items that I am pulling out right now are second hand. So I just try to buy a lot of any new clothes that I want from thrift stores, like my favorite pair of jeans ever. And I just make sure that I'm taking care of my clothes so that they last a long time. And then for laundry, I use these laundry strips. So there is no plastic involved, they're zero waste, and they're really convenient to carry to and from the laundry room. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.